The investigation into Monday night's deadly bombing that targeted children and teens intensified today. Can you move back down, please? Police conducted two raids in Manchester and named the suspected suicide bomber for the first time. The man suspected of carrying out last night's atrocity is 22-year-old Salman Abidi. This home was stormed by armed law enforcement in connection with the investigation. Police say a 23-year-old man has also been arrested in South Manchester in relation to the terror attack that occurred around 10.30 last night. Oh my God. The blast was heard inside the Manchester arena just after an Ariana Grande performance as many parents waited to pick up their children and crowds were streaming out of the exits. The explosion outside the venue near the box office was so powerful it can be seen and heard on this dash cam video from a parked car far from the detonation point. The single terrorist detonated his improvised explosive device near one of the exits of the venue, deliberately choosing the time and place to cause maximum carnage. ISIS has claimed responsibility, but a British counter-terror official tells CNN they have seen no links to known terror groups. President Trump was quick to condemn the attack in his own unique way. I will call them from now on losers because that's what they are, they're losers. Immediately following the blast, thousands fled the scene, leaping over chairs to escape. We managed to get through the doors, and how we wasn't crushed to death is a miracle. This witness that, described shrapnel injuries that, reminiscent that, of previous terrorist bombings. Obviously, when we've seen children like that as well, we're blood and we were having to pull nails out of their arms and stuff and a couple out of this little girl's face. Police are frantically examining the bomb remnants for clues, while experts say this was more sophisticated than the work of a lone wolf. How did this bomber learn how to make this? Uh, in general, it's, I think, highly unlikely that he just learned about it on the internet. As the United Kingdom reels from its worst attack since 2005, security across the country is stepping up. The Prime Minister vowing terrorists will not prevail.